Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nachreiner. Today's story is a piracy double phishing scam. This story actually comes from a site called Torrent Freak and other news agencies. And Torrent Freak, by the way, is a site that deals in piracy and copyright theft. So I don't know if I support it, but the story itself is very interesting. According to their report, some Cox Network customers received anti-piracy letters from their ISP. Basically, these are the types of letters that ISPs can forward to their users when an outside company has reported that they're stealing intellectual property. And these letters said, basically to the customer that we've detected you download the Allegiant movie through BitTorrent and Lionsgate, the owner of this copyright and their copyright uh, protection company IP Echelon are now fining you otherwise they'll take you into court. So this sounds like a very typical anti-piracy letter that ISPs send out. The problem is this was actually a phishing email. The link in the email was to ipechelon.report, which is a website that's not associated with Lionsgate or the IP Echelon uh, intellectual property company. As it turns out, these criminal attackers seem to be actually first targeting ISPs with their phishing emails, claiming that the ISP's customer is actually infringing copyright, and then the ISP forwards this email to the actual customer themselves. And this, of course, makes the phishing email all the more difficult to detect because to the customer, it seems to be coming from their real ISP. So it's kind of a double phishing scam. As an aside, I tried to go to one of the links in these emails, and they seem to be IP protected, meaning to go to a specific URL within one of these emails, it's actually attached to the customer's IP address. So you'll get a message saying you can't visit it unless your particular IP address, which of course you could spoof if you wanted to. Also, by the way, if you do any sort of DNS lookup of this IP echelon dot report website, which has nothing to do with the real intellectual property company, uh, it's actually protected by one of the shady companies on the internet. There's a company called WhoisGuard, which claims to protect the privacy of people that are registering domain names. But really many criminals also take advantage of this service as it allows them to register domains without really exposing who they are. Are. In any case, I just thought this phishing technique was very interesting. The fact that the attacker first has to fish the ISP, they have to convince the ISP to forward this email to their customer, and then of course the customer is the real victim of the fish, but the fact that the email comes from the ISP makes it a lot harder for the customer to spot that this is really a fake email. So what should you do about this? Well, really, it still is a phishing email. One of the biggest tips in phishing emails is be very careful with links. Really look closely at those links. In this case, ip-echelon.report, not .com, was obviously not a site that was owned by this particular company. So be skeptical of the links in emails and try to avoid them. That said, with all the new tricks bad guys are using to make their phishing look more legitimate, it really is sometimes hard to catch them. So make sure to remain suspicious when handling emails. Email. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.